So we at uh, RM TechCon 2011 uh, at Mentor Graphics. So what are you showing here? So this is a, uh, a product called Inflection. So it's a, a tool and an engine that allows you to create user interfaces very quickly. So the example here is a UI that we've created in the tool for an IPTV product. Um, it's running on Android. And, um, and what it's doing is allowing our customers to, uh, to take uh, an Android uh, uh, platform and to have a completely different look and feel on top of that platform. So, so it's a really cool 3D it's, use yeah. top level interface. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, you can create, as you can see, some um, very high end user interfaces. Uh, this is running uh, on an OpenGL AS accelerator. So one of the key things here is that it uh, unlocks the power of, of G OpenGL AS. And um, we see so many devices out there that have OpenGL AS capability, but um, yeah, people are not using that capability in their product. And then Inflection unlocks yeah, the power of the hardware um, to create much better user interfaces. What does Mentor Graphics do? So we provide a number of things here. We provide the tool in the engine, but we also can provide services where, where customers can say, okay, this is the type of UI I want, and we can go off and we can design that UI, and we can implement it and test it and, and so on for them if they want. Other customers would prefer to take the te technology, and maybe they just need some help and assistance in, in creating that UI. But Mentor Graphics is an EDA provider, so Mentor, right? Mentor Graphics is an EDA company. That's just a small part of what you so do. So we, ha we have a division called the Embedded Software Division, and this product uh, sits in with the embedded um, software division. So it's an embedded, uh, it's intended for embedded devices. All right, so here's the next thing uh, that you that you do. So what, what is this? What are you showing here? Um, well, right here I have Sorcery Codebench installed and running, and um, I've developed some applications that I have downloaded onto the target, um, which is a Panda board running Linux. Um, it has... The OMAP 4? The OMAP 4 that has two ARM Cortex A9 processors inside of it. Um, and so since it's running Linux, I'm using Sorcery Code Bench for ARM GNU Linux here. And I've uh, so, so, downloaded to the target and I'm debugging. So the Panda board is running this whole. Yeah, the screen? Panda board's running Ubuntu. Um, right here we have an example app application that was created using Inflection UI. So what can you can we um, click but on it, stuff? It doesn't really do much. Yeah, you can click on stuff. It kind of rotates. It's just an example of a user interface. There's really no code. So how long time does it take to do this? Um. So I started working on this about a week ago. A week ago. Yeah. So in one week you did the whole. Well, demo or? so so the inflection UI demo that we have here is something that comes with the product. And so what, what we have here is the oh, inflection yeah. UI runtime uh, for Linux, there and then a demo application that comes yeah. um, or that the engineering had available. And so okay. in the week, what we did was we um, got Ubuntu running on the board, configured Sorcerer Code Bench to compile the code, uh, which. It's actually a different application than what you see right here, but to compile the code and get it running on the target. And Sorcery Code Bench is uh, a product from Mentor Graphics? From Mentor Graphics, yeah. yeah. It's a tool chain. There's cool. many different flavors of it. Cool. And then yeah. uh, there's this, this over here. Yeah. I'll try to film what it is. Mm -hmm. And what's the uh, processing power for those? Uh, this is an 80 megahertz part. 80 megahertz? Yeah. So what is this? Uh, this is our Stella self-balancing robot running our Nucleus real-time operating system. It's running on TI Stellaris uh, M3 chipset here, uh, a low-end 80 megahertz part. Um, is some Legos here? Yes, there is some Lego Mindstorm um, components here to build the robot. Um, it never falls? If you push it, it shall fall. Okay. Uh, don't shove her. Um, what is you can, here? you can touch her a um, little bit. So up here is just a readout of, you know, every four milliseconds it's checking all of her elements, her angle, her pitch, her wheel alignment balance, um, and, and calibrating her consistently um, so she can stay standing. What's her name? Stella. Stella. Yes. All right. Uh, it can also be handled by remote control. This is also another off-the-shelf TI part, uh, the Zigbee, uh, their Zigbee kit. Um, and this, 
you can do, you know, if I had a little bit more room, we could... So this is a TI solution, right? But um, they use Mentor Graphics to do it? Uh, well, we use TI parts to do it using Nucleus, our embedded solution. Um, so so Nucleus is, a, is an OS? Yes, it is. Real That's time super fast. System. Or Is that why you use it? or? Well, RTOS, right? So determinism. Um, right. Cool.